Hello folks, and welcome to Bloontonium Lab. The hardest of the hard, extremist of the extreme. So if you've played this map, you know why. I don't think I even have to explain it. It's just obvious, right? Three paths? Yeah. <laughs> I was afraid to even try this track because of how hard it is. But, uh... finally decided to man up and do it. So, this is the moment you've all been waiting for, I probably. Unfortunately, though, this isn't going to be a Naps Frills video. I'm going to have to use road spikes. And I'm also going to need this... Uh, I also have activated the Tier 3 Bomb Tower specialty building. So these will be a little bit cheaper and better. And we're going to need it. Oops, forgot to get that. Other than that, though, the rules are going to be the same. So no agents, premiums, farms, lives lost, or selling. I guess that's napfuls, if you want to try and pronounce it. It doesn't have quite the same ring to it, I know, but, you know... I, this is a pretty tough level of challenge for this for this track, wouldn't you say? I mean, even the fact that I'm doing this without farms is already pretty tough, if I don't say so myself. I've yet to see a YouTube video of this without farms, so... That'll be my little contribution. Hopefully you enjoy it, because I've already wasted like several thousand monkey money in attempts on this. And it's not that I really need the money, it's just I'm kind of bitter because it seems unfair that, it'll, that it continues to charge you money even after you've already gotten the reward, and there's nothing more to gain from beating it. You don't even get more monkey money, so yeah, that's just kind of wrong. So hopefully you won't mind if I play this on slow and be ready with road spikes. It just means I have to kind of react to these fast-moving balloons if necessary. The sniper helps a lot with that, but it's, sometimes these still get through. It's not quite enough. I mean, pinks and yellows are really the only reason why these early rounds are hard. Is because, depending on the timing of when they arrive... Hold on a second. I barely didn't need that. Yeah. So depending on the timing of when they arrive, they can... go, like, right by your lead tower without being hit. And when that happens, you just have to be ready with the road spikes, but it's... It's completely random and unpredictable, so... Oh god, I hate it. Alright, so make these guys have matching headbands. Because any dart monkey will tell you... You can't just pop the balloons, you gotta look good while doing it. That's why he's putting on a new hat, too. So, you know, I can respect that. Yeah, I better go on slow whenever there are pinks around. Did I mention I hate pinks? Couldn't hurt to mention it again. Okay, I want to start getting 1-1 one, one on these guys. Round 24, I'm just going to spike it. Yeah, I could have upgraded the range to, to, to pick that off, but 
Actually, if I do that, then I won't have um, enough money to get this guy into a triple dart thrower for round 27, which is a really insane round with the number of yellows that come. Yikes. So I don't know why that happened, but yeah, sometimes, like I say, you just can't predict it. This is another crazy round, come on. Alright, good. I didn't have to spike that one either. Occasionally you'll get lucky and not have to use any road spikes until round, like, well, never mind. I'm sure you guys don't care. <laughs> All I'm saying, though, is sometimes when, I, when I've used these spikes, you can get lucky and not have to use them. So it turns out you don't even need corrosive glue to take care of these leads that are coming. You just have to slow enough of them down, and that gives the sniper enough time to pick them off one by one. So that's kind of cool. I'm not actually going to get the corrosive glue upgrade at all. Um, not because it's not a good upgrade to have, it's just that these glue gunners don't really do anything at all for you once you get past the point in the game where there are like Moabs coming. Ooh, yuck. Too much stuff. God, these pink rushes are just really unpredictable. Yeah, as I was saying, the less money you can spend on these glue gunners, the better. So I'm just sort of cutting all the fat out of this build. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this town, this down. No wonder. But I still have to put these road spikes. Guess why? That's right, more pinks. I need the range, I need the camo detection on these in just a second. But even so, it might not be enough. Yeah, just barely not. <sighs> this is really stressful by the way. Trying to like use the exact num right number of road spikes. Because if I use too many, I'll just be behind on my build and then not have the towers I need and then things just get worse and worse from there. doing okay though. I could even afford to use a couple more. Okay, for 
around 40. I'll get this. I'll get that. Put this to strong. And the other thing I'm going to do is uh, spike these ceramics. So that just makes the round a whole lot easier. <laughs> and I think that's literally ten times as good as trying to spike them in the back. Because if you if you want to kill a ceramic completely with road spikes, it takes like ten of them. But all it takes is one just to break the ceramic layer and then allow these other towers to take care of it. Okay, I need this. I need this. So that should be enough to take care of these camos. But gotta be ready just in case. Yeah, it's really hard to watch all three lanes at once. And I need this. So I'm gonna buy it the instant I can afford it. And now I need to spike more ceramics. That should be enough. Okay, good. Sorry, I want to get this pixel perfect, otherwise I won't have enough room for the towers I need in here. Also going to get this ice tower. Obviously, the Moab Mauler is not going to be enough, so I'm going to spike it. I want to get the positioning on this just right. I think it's yeah, probably good. That worked pretty well. Alright, so this is the last camo round that we're not going to have an arctic wind for. This one's really annoying. Uh, I'm going to need these three. And I can start spiking them right away. Oops, continue to spike them. Four, five, six, kind of as many as we can. Should be enough. used so many road spikes that I won't be able to afford this. I think I'm going to be able to get it just in time for when the ceramics come on round 49. that there we can breathe a sigh of relief. Can get this now and start working on more Moab Maulers. Get 
the next one here, I think. Spike this a couple times, assassinate that one. The left side is sort of my weaker side because the way, because of where this village is, I can't really. I don't want to put down Moab Maulers that aren't under a village, so. I mean, I'll try to get as many towards that side as I can, but it'll be a while before I can afford to put down another village. So I need those just for security. Okay, that one needs spiking. That one needs assassinating. And I think we're good now. One, two, three. have left room for this glaive lord. Looks like it. Although he's a little off center, but whatever. Let's we'll have to deal with that. So I'm going to stop getting uh, the. I'm not getting the uh, left path upgrades anymore because they help for the sort of initial Moabs, because they get, when there's sort of individual Moabs running around, the, the extra damage from the frags helps out a lot. But um, when you think about it in the late in, in the late game, really that those frags don't matter very much. It's kind of like having a weak tack shooter with without any upgrades, so yeah not really actually worth the money. I mean, the range would be nice, but I just kind of need quantity over quality here. I mean, if we're going to make this work without farms on Plutonium Lab, we have to do the most efficient thing possible, which is O3 Moab Maulers under a village with jungle drums and with the bomb tower specialty. That's that's uh, as good as it gets, and anything less is just not going to work. Yeah, what's going on here? Crap. That doesn't usually happen. It's kind of a bad sign. Alright, um... Just keep getting these. Put one there. Put that on first, actually. I'm going to start putting some of these things on close. Get another Moab Mauler there. So it's better to let it poke its head out before you assassinate it, because that then all the Moabs appear in the same place. Oh, why'd they have to pick this lane? This is my weak lane. Might have to spike some of these and play it on slow now. I guess not. I guess I'm still okay.
Okay, 63 is not going to be an issue, but I need this ninja for round 64. Just fit him in where there's not enough space for a Moab Mauler. Doesn't really matter where he is too much, although, I don't know. Sometimes distracting the ceramics can be helpful. Uh, I do have money for one more of these. Or almost did. So I'm getting this ninja a little earlier, a little earlier than I normally do. Because 64 is a lot, a lot harder when the Moabs are coming from three different angles. So I need that to be slow. Okay, a little bit after the ceramics are coming, you want to preempt this. Maybe shoot down one of these. Okay, I'm going to put this in just as a reminder. I'm not going to upgrade it yet, but just get it in the right spot. And then a uh, couple more of these. Set these to first, see if maybe I can get them to fire the other lane or something. No, they'll still fire at this lane, though. Better slow these down, though. So now I have 13 of these Moab Maulers, which is sort of the magic number that I decided on. Now I can start upgrading this into a Glaive Lord. Excuse me. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to slow round seventy one, seventy three, seventy five, and seventy seven. So that's pretty easy to remember. So as soon as that recharges, you use it again. 
I don't want these to be slow because they're big. And there's two of them, and there's there's a couple more other stuff coming too. Yeah, that was close. So you can see that this strategy just kind of barely works in a couple of places. Oh yeah, I was going to say, I finally figured out how this targeting works. So someone pointed out to me, it says right in the tooltip, it just targets the nearest Moab class balloon. So if there are... Oops, should have assassinated that. Yeah, anyway, if there are multiple ones, it just simply targets the one that's nearest to that tower. So that's why I built this over towards the left, because I'd rather have it target things that are coming from the left. <coughs> okay, so we have this Glaive Lord now. I discovered that just pure Moab Maulers actually doesn't work. It doesn't quite deal with all of the... Um, all the ceramic and stuff, all the ceramics that get created well enough. So this this thing will really slice through those. And it does a whole bunch of damage to Moabs as well. <coughs> so these are just about the only thing that can be as efficient as Moab Maulers. Okay, this round's not a problem. For round 77, uh, I need, this is going to be a really difficult round, I'm going to need everything I can get here. Make sure that's in the right spot. I guess this is all I can afford. Let me fidget with the targeting for a second. Put this on first, let me put these on first. Close first. All right. Made it this far. I don't want to screw up now. Five and a half or whatever. So. Oh yeah, I was counting the the Moabs. It this rush comes after the sixth one, so I know when to activate this. Try and get more of these in mid round if possible. <sighs> so that was pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Okay, so I've also had problems with the camo rush on this round because there's not really a whole lot on this side that detects camo. So sometimes, I mean, this Glaive Lord helps a lot, but I'm going to actually place one Juggernaut. I hope this isn't a mistake. I want to put it somewhere where it will only target this left lane, though. Not exactly sure how to do that. I think if I just put it there and put it on first, it should be okay. So re the reason this camo ceramic rush is an issue is because um, I'm going to set this on close actually, so it doesn't target this lane is because this arctic wind doesn't slow down camo balloons. Which is terrible. Okay, so assassinate that, and then start counting these rainbows. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve or so, and then click this. Okay, good, that did it. I'm gonna just put this on first now. All right. Um, yep, better just keep building this stuff. jungle drums on these two. one more How about two more there, hold on now I, I need to make sure I have enough money for ninja number two so where can I put that And here's good. Oh, there is room for a bomb tower. Never mind. Yeah, I want. I I only want to put it somewhere in a little nook or cranny that wouldn't be blocking a bomb tower. Whatever. I'll just put it over here. I need another ninja because I need to slow both rounds 81 and 82. And unfortunately there's no way to do that without two ninjas. So here we go. Yeah, they come right away. It's okay to let one show up because that'll just get focus fired. this. hope I have enough here. I'm just going to keep getting these bomb towers. I thought there was a little spot for it here. Slow this round as well. And this is really starting to lag. I have to play this on slow because this round can be really close. Look at this guy, though, he's just racking up the kills. Yeah. I'm not gonna lose now. Okay. Alright, 
We have a bunch more money, so buy a bunch more bomb towers. Just try to spread them around evenly, if you can. I'll leave most of them on first these days. There's no real need to slow this round, but since I have two ninjas, I might as well slow every round now. for round 84. Um, don't really know. I sure hope so, though. Put one more here. Maybe have him target BFBs. Do the same thing on maybe this side. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Don't f towers don't fail me now. was a pink there. <laughs> God, I almost jumped out of my shoes. Jesus. I should have just put some spikes down, but... <sighs> yeah, playing this without spike factories is scary. Alright, um... Now it's round, the very last round. So we just need those. Maybe one more of these. should be fine. I'll slow it just because that makes the ones inside go a bit slower, I think. Ah, yes. Did it. So there you have it. It can be done, but you do need road spikes in this specialty building. <laughs> ah, yes. I think I'm going to take a break for a while now. See you guys next time. <laughs>